It's been a while, hasn't it? But I'm back. And Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester United, or Cristiano Ronaldo anywhere, is back on the cards. Will Ronaldo be leaving Real Madrid this summer? According to reports, absolutely. But would you take him back at Man United? Now, first things first, I want to apologise. It's been a couple of weeks since an upload, but I've had a mad, mad couple of weeks. If you didn't see, I was out in Russia with Ball Street on what was the most mental road trip possible. From hitchhiking with no tickets to driving a thousand miles to get to Russia and the van not being allowed across the border. Make sure you go and check out the two vlogs there. But this video today is all about Cristiano Ronaldo. Obviously, Portugal knocked out the World Cup. Ronaldo's now, he's got a free summer. Well, a free couple of weeks, I suppose. And after winning another Champions League with Real Madrid, the rumours, just like they do every single year, they started again. Would Ronaldo be leaving Real Madrid? Man United were a club heavily linked, but it's Juventus who have taken the front foot. And Juventus have given an £88 million offer to Real Madrid for Ronaldo. That's a hell of a lot of money for a player who is, what is he, 33 now, 34? But Ronaldo is still one of the best in the world, if not the best in the world. Back-to-back -back Champions Leagues, 50-plus goals every single year. But can you warrant spending £88 million on a player that old with wages that would be upwards of 400, 500,000 probably a week? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm in complete, I'm still in two minds about any time I talk about Ronaldo. On the one hand, it makes zero practical sense to spend that much money on a player that old when you've got other players all around the world that you can sign, you could probably sign two, three wonderful players for the same price that you could sign Ronaldo. Why? Why would you do that? It makes no sense. On the other hand, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Still one of the best players in the world. Who's winning, still winning Champions Leagues. Who's won the Euros in 2016. Easily one of the best players still in the world somehow. You know, he's a phenomenal athlete. He built that. That's what he's built his career on. You see Messi, a far more naturally talented player. Ronaldo's made the most of his assets through hard work and determination. And that is why he should have a bit of a longer career in professional football than most. So I expect Ronaldo to be somewhere still at the top of his game by the time he's hitting like 34, 35. And Jose Mourinho, he does like short-term signings. You look at Alexis Sanchez and the fact that Anthony Martial might be leaving the club. That's back in a 29-year-old or 30, however old Sanchez is and ostracising Martial. He has the ability to become a world-class player, but Mourinho wants results now. And Mourinho needs a result now. It's in his third season at Manchester United. What better player to do that than Cristiano Ronaldo? But he looks like he's on his way to Juventus. But I need to do this video because I want to hear from you again, talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. But given that this noise sounds a little bit louder than every single other previous year where he's been linked with a move to Man United and then gone on to sign a new contract with Real Madrid, Will that happen again? Real Madrid, real question marks around them now. Obviously, they've got Lopetegui coming in, however you say his name, the Spanish manager. He's come in after Zidane, who was probably the greatest manager of all time for Real Madrid. He could certainly argue that anyway. He's leaving. Bale, not sure what's going on there. Will Ronaldo be leaving? Not sure what's going on there. But of all the summers, this is one you feel it might actually happen. And that's why I want to know from you in the comments. Would you take Ronaldo back, despite his age, despite his wages, because it's Cristiano fucking Ronaldo. That player who we signed as a spotty teenager from sport in Lisbon, went on to become one of the best players we've ever had. That double winning season in 2007-8, he scored 42 goals. Had that free kick against Arsenal. The banger against Porto. Scoring in the Champions League final. Winning the Champions League, winning the league. Ronaldo was an inspirational player for Man United, an absolute icon of the modern era. That tugs at your heartstrings. And that's why I can't completely rule out the fact that I'd love Ronaldo back at United. But my head says look elsewhere, but part of my heart still says, just bring him home. Don't care about the price, just bring him home. So I wanna know what you think in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. And we're gonna be back in business now. The tour starts very, very soon. A couple of signings or transfers have happened. Lee Grant has been signed as a third goalkeeper for Manchester United. Sam Johnson, he's left the club. Good luck at West Bromwich Albion. But after the World Cup, there's going to be three mad weeks where Man United are going to be hella busy in the transfer window. 
We head out to America on July the 15th. That's one day after the World Cup final. So Jesse Lingard's going to be hungover because England are winning it. It's coming home before we let you know. But I want to know what you think about Ronaldo. So let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon.